Hi everyone, this is Matt, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna test Consensus AI. Now Consensus is like a fused Google Scholar with ChatGPT. The way this works is that Consensus uses AI to find answers in research papers. So this is what we need to do. We need to ask a question. Now we ask a question here and the beauty of this is you don't have to ask in English. If English is not your first language, you can ask in over a hundred la other languages and Consensus AI will find the answer for you. So you know what, I'm gonna ask in Hindi. I'm not a Hindi native speaker, but apparently this should mean is keto diet healthy? So let's see what Consensus is going to say. Right, so we actually got a list of papers on keto here, which is exactly what we wanted. And you know, it gives you some sort of information like this is published in this paper, the authors, number of citations as well, so that's really useful, how many times it was cited, but then it gives you that information here. This is non-RCT trial, which means non-randomized or non-controlled trial, animal trial, very rigorous journal, and we have all these explanations of what these things are. So you see, it tells you exactly how it judges the journals. If you don't know what non-RCT means, it gives you an explanation here. So that's actually really useful and obviously it is highly cited. And then you have this study snapshot here. And snapshot is again very useful you with some with some key information about about these papers. Um, so that's really nice. But when you have this filter option here, um, and look, you can filter papers by year as you could on Google Scholar, open access, and da 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 da. But also look, we have methods here, and now Look, meta-analysis, systematic review, RCT, non-RCT trial, and so on. So I really like that. That's really useful stuff. And then you can also look for controlled trials here, human studies with a minimum sample size. So that's really useful information, but it's actually not um, accessible on Google Scholar. And then on top of all of this, you have these two options here, synthesize. So Synthesize is pretty cool. So first of all, it synthesized these papers and it gave me an answer in Hindi, which is brilliant. If English is, is your second language, you don't understand all the papers, you will get this answer in Hindi. Now, I'm not a Hindi native speaker, so I can't really tell you what it says here, but it should give you a nice answer, a summary of 10 papers in a, in a very digestible language. That's the point. So. Uh, a shout out to all non-English speakers here. You can use this easily to get the answers. And also you have a consensus meter here, um, which is super, super useful. So 79% of papers say that keto diet is healthy, 14% say possibly, and then 1%, 7% says no. And then I have this button here, so I'm gonna click on that. And now I have these papers highlighted, and I can, for example, unhighlight possibly and yes, and then I get this one paper here that says that keto diet is unhealthy. And yes, that's, that's that. And on the other hand, I can just go for all the papers if I want to, right? And then we have this feature here called Copilot. So we're gonna go with Copilot now. And now look, Copilot quickly created a little summary, a little literature review of these papers for me. Right, and I have all the references here as well. So for example, if I go to number six, there you go, this is what paper number six here. So this is really good, I love it. And I'm gonna try this in English as well now. And look, now I have this same information, but in English. Again, 93% said yes, 7% um, said no. This is the summary of these papers, and we have the key insights from research papers as well. So we have a really nice little literature review on all of this. So I would definitely recommend this. It's worth trying to ask any scientific questions you have. This is the pricing. So this is $0 per month here. We have unlimited searches, unlimited research quality indicators, which is useful. And you have 20 AI credits per month for GPT-4 summaries, consensus meters, study snapshots, and compilot. So that is pretty, pretty good. But if you, if you want to pay, 
um, then on their monthly subscription, yes, this is on monthly subscription, it's worth twelve dollars a month, and you will get all of these AI features unlimited. So all in all, is a pretty good tool, and it's worth trying, especially if you if you want to research questions not in English but in your native language. It's it's really really good. I would recommend it. Oh, and look, by the way, if you're a student, you can claim your forty percent student discount as well. So go for it. And if you benefit from this content, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.